So, you're comfortable with this formula? Well, there's a little bit of a kind of a fix that we can do to it that's really interesting. Well, I think so, again. Hey, natural log of Q. Q is that, re that reaction quotient. It's that, that law of mass action. It's that, that equilibrium expression, right? Well, when does Q become a number that we can understand at equilibrium? Well, well when, when the product rate of forward reaction equals the rate of reverse reaction, and, and that's when the Q is a K value, right? You can actually put in a K value here, but if that's the case, what's the delta G? Remember that the free energy of a system is zero at equilibrium. And so that means this, that if this is a zero, then that is at equilibrium, K. When you rearrange this formula, delta G naught, you ha take that delta G naught, put it over the other side, then we make it a negative delta G naught, of course, so let's just put the negative to the other side, and it equals negative RT natural log of K. That's another cool formula. For reaction, you're given a reaction, and you're given the equilibrium constant, and you know the temperature of that reaction. You can calculate the free energy, or what the delta G would be at that temperature, right? That's a very cool thing, a very powerful thing. Think about this too, by the way. If you take the natural log of K, and K happens to be a number that's greater than 1, a number that's greater than 1 is going to have a logarithm that's going to be greater than the number 0. So it's going to be a positive number. That natural log of K is a positive number when that value is greater than 1. And so, the natural log of a number greater than 1 times that times that, and these numbers are always positive, 8.314, and the temperature in Kelvin is positive, but you make it a negative, which means that the reaction is spontaneous. When a K value is greater than 1, at that specific temperature, you've got a reaction that's spontaneous. And conversely, that if the K value is less than 1, then it's going to have a ne negative natural log. And a negative and negative is a positive, which means the reaction is non-spontaneous. Now, you might be given questions where you have to plug in the numbers. Just solve using the methods that we've established right now, and you can calculate, which is really cool, if you've got delta G, you can figure out what the equilibrium constant is for a reaction. 